Kai New Behave at School slash Ungrounded. Okay guys. I'm so sick today. So, you're going to have a supply teacher until I get better. As we will go on a field trip to Transition Center on November 30th, I left a note on my desk. So you all must have your best behavior. But if you misbehave, then you will lose all the field trip privileges for the rest of the school year. Okay, Mr. Jason. I will behave. Good. Now, I will go home and get well. Okay, I hope you get better soon. Goodbye, Mr. Jason. Goodbye, guys. Your supply teacher will be here shortly. He left Caillou. I heard that he is sick today. I know Scott. I also heard that Amber won't be here for the next few weeks. Because she is on vacation. Yeah, Caillou. Oh, look. The supply teacher is here. Good morning, class. If you don't know me, I'm Mr. Gordon. I'm here for the first half, since I have an interview after lunch. All right, Mr. Jason have left a note for me. I will read it. Dear supply teacher, I'm very sick today, so I have to go home and get better before the field trip. I gave them a question before the new lesson. Thank you! From, Mr. Jason. Okay, he asked you guys to tell me a question before we do a new lesson. If June 31st exists? If not, explain why. I know. When setting dates for milestones or deadlines, especially at the end of the month. Several times I have seen things listed as being due on April 31st, June 31st, or November 31st. These dates do not exist, because there are only 30 days in those months, correct Caillou? And for classic Caillou, when was July 1st, 2009? I know. The answer is Thursday. That was again classic Caillou. Why are you kept saying Thursday? Remember the teacher told you to stop making up the copy date. This is not fair. Thursday was copy from January, April, and July 2009. Classic Caillou. Stop it! You're not supposed to make up the copy date. Let me explain. Back in 2004, Thursday was copy from January, April, and July. But the October was skipped to Friday due to the creative reasons. Why not Thursday? Because February 29th falls on a Sunday. If Thursday was copy from January and October 2009, the correct date was Wednesday, July 1st, 2009. Okay, this is your last chance classic Caillou. I have another question. When was April Fool's 2011? I know again. The answer is Saturday. Because it copy from January, April, and July. No. I have enough of you. You kept making up the copy dates when it only happens every four years. Let me explain the correction. The answer was Friday. Why? Because of the creative reasons. Let me explain. Back in 2000, Saturday was copy from January, April, and July. But October was skipped to Sunday due to the creative reason as well. You're out classic Caillou. No 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 no. Okay class. Let's focus on a new lesson about neon light. So Caillou, what is neon lights? I know what it is. Neon lighting consists of brightly glowing, electrified glass tubes or bulbs that contain rarefied neon or other gases. Neon lights are a type of cold cathode gas discharge light. A neon tube is a sealed glass tube with a metal electrode at each end, filled with one of the number of gases at low pressure. Okay, the light was so bright in downtown Toronto. Remember I go for a walk 8 years before the first neon party was declared by Viant Agency. I have a question. When was the first disco party started? The first disco party was started on July 5th, 2016. As that time wasn't quite bad than June 2016. And on July 8th, 2018, the free ice cream was happening in Central Park. I go there with Jacob and Amber. Wow! I went there too. But... The Maple Fest was happening on that day in Goanimate Town, so there was a big traffic on Highway 27. I know. The fest lasted until July 29, 2018. Then the next one was on July 22 to August 4, 2019. 
All right. I will explain the Neon Discovery. On January 29th, 2015, a person discovered the Neon Light for the first time. Then Beyond Agency declared the first disco party on July 5th, 2016. Now for this year, the 8th disco party was on June 24th, 2023. Now for the 9th disco party, the Beyond Agency rescheduled the disco party to June 1st, 2024, due to the another windmill disaster on July 8th, 2024. Okay, I think it's 11.30 a.m. right now. All right, class. I have an interview around 1 p.m. So, you're going to have a different teacher for second half after lunch. One hour later. Good afternoon, class. I'm back for the second half. Today, I will show you an image on a board, as you can see. Neon lights were glowing in the dark at some business, for example. The open sign was very bright. And look at another image. There is the multicolored lights shining so bright. All right, guys. I will show you the October 1582. Do you want to see it? Yes! Show me it, Mr. Taylor. The most surreal part of implementing the new calendar came in October 1582, when 10 days were dropped from the calendar to bring the vernal equinox from March 11th back to March 21st. The church had chosen October to avoid skipping any major Christian festivals. What. The. Crap. October 1582 have dropped 10 days. Why does the past happen? Good point. The Gregorian calendar skipped 10 days in October of 1582 in order to make up for the extra days which had been accrued under the Julian calendar, and established a more accurate accounting for leap years, to avoid the accrual of extra days in the future. Well what happened to October 5th, 1582? From October 5th to October 14th, 1582 never existed. Altered under the previous Julian calendar, implemented in 46 BC by Julius Caesar. I'm closing the smart board. Okay, we will go to the next lesson tomorrow. Before I dismiss you guys, I have an announcement to tell you. On December 1st, we will watch a video. Yay. All right. I will dismiss you. Have a nice day. You too, Mr. Taylor. Good job for behaving during class. You are ungrounded forever. Thank you, Dad. You are the best.